show everybody. Take a look at these photos of a house near Sacramento. Neighbors noticed it looked a little bit run down, and the woman who owned it was blind and living alone. Instead of ignoring the issue, these incredible people pulled their resources and spent weeks fixing it up. Even better, they created a lifelong friendship with the woman inside. That's what I call being a good neighbor, y'all. <laughs> Please welcome Faye, everybody who Hi. owns the home, Hi. and Paul, the neighbor who organized the renovation. So Faye, you live in the home, and you've lived there your entire life, right? And you've, you've been blind since you were born, right? I have been blind since I was born. I've lived in the house for 30 years. Um, I was blinded by uh, oxygen in the incubator, damaged my eyes. Um, it was hard, I won't say it wasn't, but I didn't stop. I went on to school, went on to college, graduate school, started um, traveling and then teaching piano and voice, and that's what I still do. I uh, came. That's incredible. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you didn't let it let it stop you pursuing your dreams. No, passion. and I ended up moving to California and moved into my house that I'm in now 30 years ago, and still teaching, still there. Ah, uh, well, Paul, did y'all know each other well before this? You know, we didn't know each other very well. Uh, Faye lived about eight houses away from me, around the corner. And when I moved in the neighborhood with my wife, beautiful wife Stephanie, we've been married about 12 years. Uh, thank you. She, uh, we decided, I decided I wanted to start a neighborhood watch. So me and a few neighbors would walk the neighborhood. And over time, I noticed Faye's house. And uh, I thought, man, that house is in disrepair. But um, I just let it go. Time passed. And I went to hang out with a buddy of mine next door. And I got a good look at the back of her house. And it was in really bad shape, as you can see from the pictures. Oh That's when I decided I really needed to take this seriously. So I, I uh, approached the house, knocked on the door, and I said, hey, Faye, do you have a minute to talk? Um, just want to run something by you. And she said, sure. She came outside. And I said, Faye, um, I've been troubled by seeing your house in really bad shape, and, and, uh, and I think you have a problem. I'd like, you to, I'd like to help fix that problem for you. Yeah. I and, would have started uh, crying. And Aww. so I, I said, Faye, I, I've talked to a few neighbors. How do you feel about us fixing your house? And then all of a sudden, she started bawling. And um, that's when I knew that was the answer. I was going to fix her house. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, man. So are you, first of all, such a great human. Um, and secondly, are you like a handyman? Can you do, are you that guy that does everything? I have no skills whatsoever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a wand. <laughs> I had a wand. Yeah. But you know, I, I think my strength is in bringing people together. Networking, and, yeah. Yep. And that is when, um, when she said, started crying, the next day I, I approached my daughter Alexa. She produced some flyers for me. And then when I got those flyers in my hands, I approached every single neighbor in the neighborhood and I said, guys, I need help. We have a, a neighbor in, dis in distress. Um, I could, you know, we could use donations, we could use labor, mm -hmm. et cetera. And the, the neighborhood rallied together. Um, so people, cool. there's probably about 25 of us that what? volunteered to do the labor. The funds were growing. Um, and then we started work on the house. We started painting. We started sanding. We started, uh, we had a demolition party. And then we had to figure out, well, how are we going to put new wood on here? Nobody knows what to do. <laughs> so I reached out to carpenters, electricians, painters. And people came from nowhere and volunteered their time wow. to help to solve this problem. I mean, it's incredible to do for someone. And, and I mean, Faye, I can only imagine how much this means to you, but also like for the community, for y'all to come together and know how powerful you are as a community, you know, like what you could accomplish. Like this is like the start of something cool probably as well. But what did this mean to you, Faye? I was stunned. I was just stunned. I'd, I'd lived there um, uh, and raised my children there. This was the house that I raised my babies in. They're grown, they'd moved away. I went through a very difficult divorce mm. and I was really, really sad. And I felt really, really alone. Yeah. And for my neighbors to come and say, I knew the house was a mess. I didn't have the money. I couldn't do it. And for my neighbors to come and say, we want to help you. Well, you it was just incredible. It was mm. just incredible. And I am so, so grateful. It's like, but it's not just the house. All of a sudden, not only did I have a beautiful new house, I had family. Yeah, you had friends and like people, companionship. Yeah. So Faye, you had one request in all of this. So what was it? I wanted a pink door. <laughs> <laughs> I like 
pink. <laughs> Just look at me. Do you think I don't like pink? I love uh -huh. pink. I love it. So wait, so if you can't see it, do you just feel something oh, when you're around? It, you know, colors have a feel. They really do. And, yeah. and pink makes me happy. Does it make you happy? Does yeah. it make you happy? Makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I just, I love it. And, and so I said, I, 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 want, I want a pink door. And that's what I asked for. And it, I got one. I know. So you got her one, right? That's... No, I didn't get her one no. door. I got her two. I got her two. <laughs> <laughs> I love like one for the back or is it? Yeah, yeah, we we did a, a pink door in the back and the guys put up a, a steel safety door in the back also. Yeah. Um, it looks really nice because you can see it from the front as you can see in the pictures. Mm -hmm. um, but the house still needs some work. Uh, the, the kitchen needs some cabinet work. House needs some painting still on the inside. Uh, and some cement work would be great because um, for funny. safety hazards, yeah. Yeah. it'd be nice if she'd have easy surfaces. And um, I just want to say that uh, this story was it's just so touching for me. I wanted it to come out for the community just to show how people can come together, mm -hmm. make Absolutely. a difference. Yeah. And, uh, what I a just, great neighborhood of people y'all are surrounded by as well. Yeah, yes. For sure. we, I feel yeah. really blessed for that. And, and I'm so thankful for my, my employer, who is so generous with my schedule, getting me the day yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. my, uh, my wonderful wife, my daughter, Alexa, and all those in Davis, Willen, Communities that donated money, time, my wonderful neighbors. Yeah. We put in the elbow grease and we did this project together. Yeah. And now we're all closer. Um, we're all really good friends and we're family. So I love that. I smell a block party. Um, yeah, so yeah. Right. <laughs> I was like, Fest, don't invite mama, she'll show up. <laughs> Come um, on. You can stay at my house. I know, I will. With the pink now. Doors. Yeah. <laughs> so you you have something that you want to say to Paul, right? Yes. Thank you. You will never know how you changed my life. You will never know. I had no idea. I really felt, you know, I felt really alone. You showed me that I wasn't. It's not about all the work. I love the work. But now you're my brother. Hmm. And your family is my family. Thank you. Wow, thanks so much, Faye. Love you, girl. Wow. Love you, buddy. Aww. Your family. Well, we have sister. a surprise. We reached out to Orcam, a global leader in wearable assistive technology for people who are blind or visually impaired, oh. and they heard about your story, and they want to help complete the repairs to Faye's home. So, Faye, they are giving you $10,000 to help oh. out. <laughs> oh my God. Does that sound all right? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Thank you guys so much for sharing this story Thank and you. also just being so beautiful and kind to each other, but showing everybody else what their neighborhoods could look like as well. Wow. It's a very, you, very good heart sitting here.